I think every household should have a heart rate monitor. This is the armband type. You're meant to wear it in your upper arm or in your upper lower arm. I'm wearing this on my wrist, but really you're meant to wear it further up. It's an armband, really. You pair it up with an app. Here I'm using it with Polar Beat. Gives me my heart rate in real time. Ignore that, but that's when I was setting it up. I got it for £17 in AliExpress, but I see it for about £40 in Amazon, so I would definitely check AliExpress and eBay. This one's Kuspo HW706. This is a try to connect. It's mainly as an armband, but I've got it just slightly above where I'd put a watch. So the ones in your arm work with optical sensors, whereas the ones on the chest work with electrical signals. So you get these optical ones on your arm. The ones in your chest are electrical signals. And maybe that's why you see athletes still using chest straps rather than optical sensor ones. Oh, it uses Bluetooth for ANT+. I don't know what ANT plus is. But Bluetooth anyway, it's pretty straightforward. And you need an app to actually see with the measurements. Here I'm using Polar Beat. Here it's waiting to get my heart rate. Now it's got it. And there goes Polar Beat. Polar Beat seems to be the the more slimmed down version of Polar Flow, which is one of the most common fitness apps. Polar Flow and Garmin seem to be the two big ones. I've not got a chest strap, so I can't test to compare it, you know, electrical signal to optic. But I've seen other YouTubers do that and uh, they seem to they seem to be the same results. So to me, it looks as if armbands will give you accurate results. There's loads of heart rate apps that it'll probably work with. Here, I'm using Polar Beat here. Got it in Google Play. Polar Flow is a common one that people use of the Polar brand. I think that's the full fat one, really. Tells me a few things about my heart rate. There's where you want to be, I think, when you're jogging. If you leave it lying, after about a minute it goes off, I would say two minutes. I've stopped the polar beat, so uh, here I'm getting my beats per minute. Of course, some of it, I was zero, because I didn't have it on. We'll take a look at the parts you get. You get a free wrist strap, it seems, a spare one. One looks slightly bigger than the other. 38 centimetres, 15 inch. 15 and a half centimetres, 14 inch. It's got a magnetic rechargeable connector. That only goes one way. I'll do that again. Just sort of naturally grabs it. Yeah, opt optical sensors there. That just comes off both sides. Velcro, most of the way. You pair it up and then switch it on. So it's looking, I think it's waiting for a pulse actually. I've got it connected here and even coming out there it seems to still be able to get a pulse. I'm at 80 beats per minute there, down there. Still getting it. Oh, it's gone. This is what it looks like when it's not connected. Type A this side. Magnetic here. It says it'll last 20 hours. This is where you're meant to wear it. Waterproof, sweatproof, IP67 level, 10, mil, 10 meters range, optical sensor array, yes it is comfy to wear, it doesn't really slip if you do it right, and it's a real time heart rate, and 20 hours it says, I like it mummy, I like it. So I would say definitely check AliExpress and eBay for a better price. 
90 mAh battery. It doesn't store data in that end. Apparently the Garmin one does, but this one you need an app to store the data in, like Polar Beat or, but it'll probably work with most of the well-known ones, which I can't even announce, because I don't know much about that part of the market. Strava and all that. Turn it off here. To, to turn it on and off you just, not even a second. It should work with most apps, in my opinion, but I don't know. Here it is in action. I'm wearing it around my leg just so you can see it. You're not meant to put it there, but it seems to work okay, or at least I think so. I think every household should have these, just first of all for checking their mirrors, if they do check them. Um, but also just for fitness and just for learning about yourself. I think we should do testing rather than supplements. We're a supplement culture, but we should really do tests. Bravo Foxtrot. Bravo Foxtrot Zero. So here we're Bravo looking at the blue. Foxtrot Alpha. We're yeah. looking at the blue thing to uh, get my beats per minute. That's my heart rate. Alpha Zero. Alpha Gamma Foxtrot. I think I'm meant to be in green, that's the best. I'll try and get 140, just for you. I think that's enough. So my heart rate, my heart rate there is like 120 or something. <clears throat> I'm recovering. But yeah, I think everyone should have a heart rate monitor of some kind. Although I've just ordered a, a cheap smartwatch for about £12. that will tell me my heart rate and uric acid, possibly. Or, and a few other things. Blood pressure, maybe, I don't know. The glucose, yeah, blood glucose. So I'm looking forward to that. Bought it from AliExpress. Maybe it'll make this defunct to me, but I don't know yet. We'll soon see. Alright, goodbye.